26, a new TikTok trend is causing all kinds of problems here in Lexington. It's called devious licks, and it involves students getting sinister. LEX 18's Christiana Ford looked into the trend and how schools are handling it. She takes us right to TikTok to show us what it means. That's tonight's big story at 6. It all started on TikTok when a student stole a box of masks from his school, posted it on TikTok and said, hey, look at this devious lick. And like everything else on the internet, it all escalated from there. Students everywhere started picking up anything and everything they could get their hands on. We just started noticing a couple of weeks ago that um, the soap dispensers in the bathroom were being uh, removed, stolen, taken out, destroyed. Camp Ernest principal Stephanie Haggerty has seen her fair share of students acting, well, strange, but this was different. And we didn't know what was happening because it was happening frequently enough to where it became a nuisance. We started asking kids because if you just start talking to the kids, they'll, they'll tell you uh, what you need to know. And they told us about something on TikTok called the devious licks. They hit licks on their schools from what we know locally in Boone County and Fayette County at Dunbar, Jessamine County and Bourbon County. Could it be students acting out because they haven't been in school for a while or something much more devious? That's when you really just kind of tap into the students and those relationships you have with them and just say, hey, you know, what's going on with you? Where is this coming from? And a lot of times it's social media or friends motivated. TikTok has banned the devious licks challenge, but there are still hundreds of challenges and trends right at kids fingertips. So the question educators and parents have now is how to combat it. I just said to her, I was like, what if we create our own challenge? What if we create a challenge for positivity and give them point systems and rewards for that? Teachers Autumn Keifner, Kristen Franks, and Principal Haggerty's positivity challenge is actually working. Immediately, they were very receptive to it, which was so heartwarming. We already have like 15 examples of kindness. Um, so It was so adorable. We even had um, a parent was so happy because they're, her daughter was washing the dishes. <laughs> because we know the trends and the challenges just keep on coming. Hopefully, ultimately, in the long run, when the next trend comes along, if it is something that's negative, that maybe the students themselves will start their own TikTok counter trend, which will you know combat some of that destructive behavior. Christiana Ford, LEX 18 News.